But all the woman's work is never done, is it, little crow? I struggle and strive to keep them all safe. And what thanks do they give me? What thanks for watching the clocks of the world and winding them ever so slightly back when they've been neglected? What thanks for my constant vigil and my careful plans? Nothing but more work to do. And the weaklings moaning because to save the body we must cut off the limb. Look at the wormstone I let them have, and thousands of years it waited, and when the time was just right, I showed it to them to help them kill a dragon, to weaken the southerners, to leave the dragon father bleeding on his little island. <laughs> was I not clever, little one? A bit of pain for all, a bit of blood loss all around, but now the clock has turned back once again. I know the pain these defilers will bring to the world once I let them loose. Many will die, oh, so many. Even the ones I watch over here in the north. Zilvana, they will cry. Zilvana, you have released death upon us. I, I am no fool. I know what this pain will bring. They do not comprehend what fate awaits them if I fail to act. If I can slow the others down even for a day. Yes, yes, even for an hour by letting the wicked harvest loose. I will smile as I open the door to their forbidden cage. Have I not always acted in the best interests of these men and their little empire? Of course I have, little bird. No matter if their lives are too short to see the scope of my work, their minds too tiny to understand its complexities, I will keep doing what I must. I will let a little bit of poison into the blood of this land to kill the parasites deep in its belly. Not, not, not too much, you see, just a little, just enough, so that one day those who are left behind can survive. Perhaps their children's children will look back and comprehend what I do. The machine is nearly complete, little one. Every bolt and gear is ready, and the gate he bears will soon be thrown open. Tall and proud he will be, and atop them I will walk with the defiers. For now, I will point their grimkin where I must, you see. We will use them to keep the others back, to weaken them before they can slip into the world. I thought we could stop them altogether, because men are stupid and greedy and simple things who cannot be trusted not to bargain away their souls at the first chance given. But, oh, no, 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 not you, little crow. There is still time for you to impress me. Just don't take too long. You are not my only option. An old woman like me must stack the deck of fate in her favor. I must never put all of her faith in one singular path.